there came a kobold, blue and boisterous. Good evening, everybody. It's lovely to be with you again. I love the Night in the Woods soundtrack. It's perfect. There's so much to love about it. There we are. Hello, Black Fox. It's great to see you. Thanks for being on the stream. How is your day going, Black Fox? It's nice to see you. Oh, we got a few people in here. That's awesome. You're, you're in good company, Black Fox. I can say that for sure. Yeah, of course I remember you. It's just, I'm really glad to have you here. Glad to hear you're doing good, too. left off. I'm trying to figure out where the ducking for the audio here is coming from. It's kind of getting to me here. actually remembered to update my little stats up here. Very excited about that. Page 27 of chapter 5. Doing pretty good on that. about that let's see all right that's not doing it oh that's better still working on making this stream work properly but you're working on page 27 here and having a good time at it in fact uh the last time we were with chat they named our little badger innkeep here. His name is Theodore Teddy to his friends. He's a swarthy looking fellow. Oh, you need to reread Trap Finders. Yeah, there's a there's quite a bit there now. <laughs> um, since I've been back up and running, I've had uh, quite a few pages um, up and gone the last few months so there's lots to read I mean I'm just looking at the number up there there's 334 pages to read there's a, a decent amount of pages I am pleased with it so let's see Kind 
might be difficult to see the sketch on your side, chat. I apologize for that. Let's see if I can bring that up a little. There we go. That's a bit better. I want you to be able to see at least what I'm working on. <laughs> Fox gal, yeah, that was Hiroko. Um, she uh, she was last seen at the end of chapter four, abandoning the rest of the trap finders. Very unadventurer like of her, but who knows? She's got pieces of her own. I don't know, Black Fox. Maybe. <laughs> yes, yes, I believe she will be a another character in the future here. Whoops. There we go. All right. Well, I quite like writing for Hiroko, so I think she will definitely be making a heroic return at some point in the near future. Maybe she'll have a swarthy eye patch for a, uh, a new accent. Remember, Black Fox, you were quite surprised that Kiske got bitten by that vampire back in chapter four. I might be making that up. All I can say about this badger's mustache is that it is fantastic. Touchscreen drawing thing, if only I had the money. Oh, yeah, no, I remember, yeah. I, it was just the, the thought that came to mind, because you said that uh, holding a pencil was difficult. It's definitely one of those things that is not easy to come about but still I hope you get to do some drawing soon some programs on iOS and things like that um, that are uh, drawing programs but they don't require like a stylus or anything um, I think most of them are free I could be wrong though it's been a while since I've looked it's still a bummer and I hope your hands feeling better soon Oh, 
by the way, Black Box, if you go back uh, a few pages and you, you notice our uh, our cougar lady, Katya, with a braid, don't get too attached. That braid is going away. <laughs> I hate drawing it. little badger face there. I like that a lot. Pretty relaxing night today. Doing some drawing and oh no, you were you were cleaning an industrial mixer. Oh no. What was what? All I heard was me going, oh no, because I I feel terrible about that. That's I, I worked in a kitchen for a little while, and uh, let me tell you, that's no place for a little cobalt to be. But uh, they are dangerous places. Let's see here. How about that? Oh, oh, a few pages back, I was, uh, <laughs> I was talking about, um, one of the characters that we've introduced in this arc, her name's Katya, and, uh, I thought it'd be fun to put her hair in a braid, and that has been a nightmare, so that braid is going away. <laughs> Good Theodore music. Of course, this is Greg's theme from Night in the Woods. Greg rules, okay? Oh, cool! Well, if there's anybody who's going to figure out a way to do what they want to do, it's going to be you, Black Box. So, like I said before, I'm glad to have you here. injury was back in 2019. That's right. I'm forgetting everything you told me on Twitter. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry you still have problems with it, though. Ugh. Hutch back here with all kinds of libations. That's a good question. What's folks' favorite drink? I don't really have like a favorite mixed drink, although rum and coke seems to knock me out pretty easily. Usually for me, though, after a long day, it's uh, the occasional cider. Makes my tail curl. 
I like it. Ooh. Gotta love Clip Studio auto saving. I feel so accomplished having Theodore done here. He just he looks so snappy. This home fun shirt and his all patches. Shirt's seen a lot of wear. It has just not been an easy time for you, has it, Black Fox? Ugh. Damn. Here's hoping you find something, man. This is my favorite song from Night in the Woods. I'll die anywhere else. Incredibly important how I render these beer nuts. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad you love Night in the Woods. Just a top 10 game for me. Oh, I gotta ask Black Fox, who's your favorite character in Night in the Woods? say my favorite character it, it's a tie between may and b i love b and greg just ruled oh yeah no i i think that's a that's a very common feeling about may as a character i think she speaks to a lot of people I think we all feel like May once in a while. Don't 
I've drawn a badger and a bowl of nuts. You can call it a night, I think. <laughs> this is exactly how my little pea brain cobalt brain works. I, uh, I drew this big fancy hutch, and there's no alcohol in it. Oh, you got a thunderstorm going on where you're at. Actually, one of my favorite times to draw is during a thunderstorm. And now that I'm using a uh, magic rectangle instead of uh, a PC to draw, if the power goes out, my magic rectangle keeps going. Oh yeah, if there's forest fires going on, we definitely want to have some rain coming. Oof. Forest fires were extremely terrifying, even back in my realm, so I do not envy anybody who is near them. You might be saying to yourself, Zib, why don't you use the line tool for stuff that's supposed to be straight? And I would say, shut up, nerd. I forgot. I see we got Corvus with us again tonight. Hey, Corvus. Good to see you. Oh, you're in Canada. I've heard Canada is a very lovely place. Yes, good evening, Corvus. Fine eve to you, sir. Corvus, I have a, I have a new fanfare for you, uh, if you'd like, whenever you uh, pop up in chat. It's the, it's the best. It's, it's perfect for you. <laughs> Here we go. There, now we know you're in chat. <laughs> oh yeah, Black Box, I think we all feel about that, that way, about the places we live. Um, they're always interesting to everybody else. All right. We are filling out this bar. Well, I would say that your city is also known for having a really cool name. Saskatchewan. Sounds so exotic.
I think this beer tap is the most technologically advanced thing in this bar. <laughs> and sadly, I think that makes sense. That's a good question, Corvus. What would be on tap in Rill? Something about Rill, I don't think I've explained, is uh, well, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, I guess you could call them hyperfauna. Um, one of the things I, I realized early on was it would be very difficult to understand. Uh, animal style characters eating other animals uh, so maple mead very close black box actually I was gonna think I was gonna say mead but uh, honey mead is one of the uh, one of the kind of uh, insects of choice that uh, is on real are uh, giant bees thunder bees they call them You know, Corvus, I have to say, it's not even like an advertising thing anymore. If you've got whiskey that's been in an oaken cask for like a hundred years, they just call that whiskey. I should try maple mead. I actually, I am quite fond of alcohol that is sweet. Barrel is vexing me. Whiskey is a celebrating drink. It's not one that I tip back too readily. That's a special occasion. I really love hearing Rain. As much as I love the Night in the Woods soundtrack, Rain is top-notch. Although I'm afraid you'd probably hear lots of little cobalt snores because I would fall asleep. Oh, yeah. Thunderstorms? Yeah, forget about it. Even if they're rattling the house, I will be asleep in my sock drawer just out like a light.
Oh yeah, still going strong, Black Bot. This is my problem. I always focus on the background stuff. <laughs> I finished Theodore first. <laughs> oh, mysterious figure here. I'm not sure I understand Black Buck, but yes, me and my partner are together, and she and I are doing just fine. She accepts me for my cobaldiness, and I accept her for just being a human. Cannot have a cloak without a poorly stitched. Oh, no worries, Black Fox. It's all good. Every time I draw a tankard, any time I draw like a wooden drinking vessel of some kind, I remember I was on a kick for a long time. Like, oh, I'm going to get wooden cups and plates. It's going to be awesome. And then I realized that it is one of the most ridiculous care regimens for any kind of flatware or, or, or dishware, whatever you want to call it. You got to oil them. I want to oil my plates. I want to throw them in that dishy washer, whatever you guys got. Yeah, I would imagine so. And the, um, I would imagine the surface, like, would have to be, like, almost shellacked in order for it to not have little micro cracks and have food jammed in them. Doing the dishes was nightmare enough when you've got to stand on top of a box to actually get to them. Oh, yeah, that was, gosh, that was so long ago. I mean, probably right when I started. I remember you popping your head in every so often in the comments. Utility of barrels. And Corvus, I know you're shaking your head and you're like, you should have just gone with the steel keg. And I should have gone with the steel keg. It would have been a better idea. Yeah, you were always commenting. I always loved that. That was always so nice to. to 
wake up in the morning after putting a comic up and seeing a comment from you. That was always nice. For some reason, my comments are kind of broken on my current site. I need to figure that out. Put that on the list. 4,762 things for Zib to do. Still doing the background work here. I just... It's still killing me that I drew this nice little hutch and there's no alcohol on it <laughs> it's getting me it's it's just it's giving me a chuckle yeah the comments haven't worked well for a while um i blame myself i, I was trying to use a uh, kind of an auto moderator for them because i was getting some comments that were just spam bots and stuff oh okay rectangle was saving it's very important the rectangle needs all its focus to save it's almost like I just did one of these and guess what there's another one. <laughs> oh yeah this I tried to catch him could it's one of those things just that was funny because like i said i'd wake up and be like oh comments and then one of them's just like you know i could get you a million euros if you give me your bank money oh, i don't even know what a euro is just a little cobalt man Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a familiar shape, isn't it? What could this possibly be? Ah, I need a drink of potion here. Woo. Much better. Yes, actually, there they are. Sneaking in, can see. Our two heroes here heading off for the evening and this little figure is just sneaking in one of the things i expanded on um, with rill and everything is that there are the critterkin which are the little animal characters like kisuke and roko and then there are they're genetically similar but still somewhat different cousins called Fera. They are usually bigger, a little bit more feral than the, than the regular critter thing. So you can see this one's pretty small, so it's entirely possible that it could be a critter thing. Corvus, you gotta admit, this is some lovingly rendered beer nuts right here. Somebody somebody cracked all of these peanuts open. That somebody is Teddy, because Teddy's very considerate. Look at that face. Just brings a tear to your eye. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it looks like we got a couple more folks. We got Lori Pub in here. Kata, Drapsnat, Alicidra, Zero One Ella. Happy to have them here with us too. Yeah, that's the tricky thing, Black Box. It, and the only advice I can give you for that is just start. 
start putting stuff on paper. That's what I did 10, uh, gosh, 12 years ago. I just was like, you know what? I'm going to do a comic. And I started doing it. And it was garbage. <laughs> it wasn't garbage. It was just very new and very scary to start. But if you don't go through those scary parts, you can't get through the fun parts. I am never drawing barrels again. <laughs> I think I have I have hit my limit for barrels. All ale is coming in crates from now on. no doubt you'll find some way to put it in a paper black box. You humans are pretty resourceful. If you can't do something one way, you'll usually do it another. You're tricky like that. Yeah, that's true. Have you ever thought of writing? Oh my gosh, everybody. This is a momentous occasion. The barrels are done. <laughs> I don't know how you guys deal with barrels on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't know if I could. Oh no. Oh, wow, I didn't think I was going to get that far. That's awesome. Something I still haven't gotten used to uh, with using the magic rectangle is that I can zoom in as far as I want. So used to using pen and paper. Even now, after I've been doing this for Sideways barrels. Oh, I say no barrels at all. I say crates. All ale comes in crates. No reason it can't be in crates. I would accept the mega keg. I don't want to wreck what I've got here, so I'm going to put up another layer. I'm going to sketch in some bottles here. Some Wayne Reynolds style huge Arfin bottles. Let's see. 
tankards back here. Fill that space out a little bit. There's one thing I don't need to do is fill more space. <laughs> Those is gonna be fun. Got the sketch in. And there you have it. An enormous Wayne Reynolds style bottle of alcohol. You can further see my Wayne in, my my Wayne Reynolds influence by the fact that there are no feet. Obscure art jokes. Cat shaped bottles, feline brew. You know what, Black Fox? I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try here. She's one of the few felines that we've seen. Feline types, I should say. Oh, it's got to have a cheeky little cat smile. And for that, we're going to drop this down from an eight. There we go. Oh yeah, I love this little cat bottle. Definitely has kind of an Inari Fox kind of style to it as well, which I can also appreciate. There we go. Oops. cat-shaped bottle for what is quite possibly catnip liquor which I don't know if adding a depressant to a depressant would make that super powerful but that's the weird thing about catnip though isn't it because you see cats are either like completely high and just bonkers like like out of it or they're bouncing off the walls it's weird yeah i like that bottle that's a great suggestion black black fox <laughs> Name straight. Lucky I can draw and breathe at the same time. There we go. Oops. Got some tankards I gotta draw. Gotta have a, a feline. 
lens only shot glass. I don't I don't think we have that kind of uh, degree of segregation in real. All those critter can seem to get along pretty okay. I mean, for mammals. Now I gotta jump back here and get rid of the incredible line art that I had behind there. Now I'm happy to do it. Look at that. Oh, so much better. That shelf is alive now. Look at that. But the nice thing about coloring bottles is that coloring bottles is easy. Actually quite fun. You can play with the colors a bit. Who says liquor has to be brown or green or red? Say purple. I would think that uh, that feline uh, critterkin and fera would be very unpopular at bars because they'd probably be slapping cups and mugs off the countertop just by instinct. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think this panel, this panel's done. That's awesome. And this next one is super not hard. If there is one trope that uh, I continue to uh, throw into my comics here. It's cloaks. Like, is somebody showing up and they're probably wearing a cloak? At this point, I can just laugh at it. talk about cloaks uh, last week, weren't we, Porter? We had some discussion on uh, the prerequisites of little earsies on cloak hoods and how they should be required. Oh, a character idea. Cloaks are great. A cloak is a blanket you can bring with you. It's a hat. It's three quarters of a poncho. It's a lot of things. I think the hoodie was the natural extension of the cloak. And I think that's where all of our all of our effort went. traveler cheating on their history test. It's a novel use of a time machine. This is the music from the um, the uh, constellations little mini game. I 
always thought it was so it's so intense like there's there's a tension in it this feels more like a like a close friend admitting that they did a heinous crime or something I had the ability to go back in time and doing history wouldn't I use the cheat <sighs> I find human history so fascinating though you all are very strange creatures who wouldn't want to go back in time even just for a little while heard the few humans have a spot called Rome that would be very interesting to see in its heyday. Now it's apparently all ruins, which I don't know what you did, but it ruined. And uh, speaking as a kobold who absolutely has seen his share of ruins, pretty nice ruins, not gonna lie. Y'all humans can do ruins real nice. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Guys, we did it. This page is ready to go. For better or for worse. I've got... <laughs> I have some grievances with the... Uh, with that first page. <laughs> or the first panel. <laughs> Definitely some... some uh, continuity issues here. This was the table that was the uh, the mimic for this because it seems to move me <laughs> in between panels. Never trust those mimics. An albino rat with psychic powers. You know, I've never explored the idea of Critterkin or Farah having psychic abilities. That'd be interesting. Also, we haven't done a rat character. There we go. That's a bit better. There we go. We will. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's that's why uh, Katya and Kiske are getting. They don't want to mess with a mimic. Let's see if I can spruce this up a little bit. This is... I'm kind of known for that. I'd like to not be known for that. I can at least make it the same shape. Ooh, the first thunder. Oh. Man. Wish it was raining. I mean, I'm glad it's not because my mic would probably pick it up at this point. Oh, excuse me. Potions you humans make are a little bit gassy, but they're still pretty good. This one's specifically for monsters, so that's pretty nice. I remember reading about those. Um, gosh, I remember that uh, that they did a, a Tanuki race at one point. I think Pathfinder did it, but I could be wrong. I could. Uh, they might have done it for your Dungeons and Dragons. I love both of those things, by the way, Dungeons and Dragons. Oh my goodness! I'm actually happy with this page. That's very rare for me <laughs> oh that's cool I'm, I'm really glad that that worked out 
only thing I don't like is that I don't have any panel lines here. And uh, I do not like that. So that's something I'll have to mess with on a technical level because that's going to take me a bit. Oh, the race is called a Rackling? Huh. That's interesting. All right. So, I'm going to save that up. But, I believe that is all we will need the magic rectangle for today. So, super happy about that. That's awesome. Paraphrase one of my favorite streamers. Night in the Woods music, step back. There we go. And there we go. Good night, night in the woods. Ah, that was nice. That was really nice, actually. Um, perfect. So... Moving on to our next category, or our next portion of tonight's stream, we'll be going back to the game. That's right. Corvus, I did manage to save that last time, so uh, we have not regressed back to that terrible battle. But we will once again be delving into Shining Force, the legend of great intention. I need to change my form here. Nope. There we go. Ah, ready to go. Actually, not quite ready to go because it does not seem to want to. There we go. Yes, here we are. I like astral songs too, Blackbox. Uh, sometimes they're really nice to just kind of um, zone out to. Um, for that instance, actually, it was kind of nice because I was drawing and it just kind of picked me up and carried me along. So that was nice of it to do so. But I know, Corvus, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But we're going to have to continue on. <laughs> All right. And let me make sure I'm getting audio from the game. All right. And are y'all hearing anything from the game at all? Hopefully we're getting... Oh, yeah, I see. It's a really low level for some reason. There we go. That should be a little bit more audible. Ooh, Black Box, an NSFW game. Uh-oh. Yeah. I keep clicking on too many things. All right. So, last time when we were playing, we uh, we went through a battle, and it kicked our butts. Uh, we're trying to leave the city of Guardiana here, trying to head northeast, and uh, the villainous hordes of Runefaust are trying to stop us. So let's let's see what we do now with a little bit more experience. Deputy. Enemies are waiting while the road calls the road. Take all precautions. Whew. Now that music's coming through. Ah, that's right. They're these uh, nasty giant bats. Those guys are really mean because they, uh, when they hit you, they have a chance to put you to sleep. 
course, if you're asleep, you can't fight stuff. Oh my god, I did it again. <laughs> I, I was going to um, May here. She's a brand new recruit. And uh, she, uh, she doesn't have a spear. She has a lance. So she's all up front and personal. Oh, enjoy getting that drink, Blackhawk. This is how I got in trouble last time. So you know what? Ken is going to chill out up here. We're going to bait those bats over here. So I can roast them with pow. Because she learned a little thing called Blaze Level 2. You might remember Blaze. It was her initial inaugural hit. Uh, starts guys on fire. Get a bait. Got our buddy Luke here. We'll just keep him up there. Yeah, come on down. Come on down and get some shining. Right in your force. Alright, Court, let's get him. Poor damage kind of seems to be their thing lately. Ooh, here we go with the bat. Damn it. Okay, yeah. Luke is asleep. It's unfortunate. I need him to hit things. Not be hit. Oh no, Gong! My boy! Oh, pfft. Gong's fine. He's not asleep. Still a heck of a lot of rune knights up there. I'm really not looking forward to fighting all those. See, here's the conundrum, because these bats are super dangerous. So are these dwarves. They, they hit hard. They don't hit as hard as the uh, rune knights, but uh, let's see if May can't do some damage here. Oh, no. Oh, dire portents. I can't use Blaze Level 2. Because Blaze Level 2 is an AoE. Show you. See here on the uh, the magic menu, got my little Blaze icon. You see those two little bubbles? I can set it to Blaze Level 1 or 2. Obviously, Blaze 2 is going to take a little bit more MP. But you see there, it hits all the bad guys in that crosshair. All five spaces there. Fortunately, it does not hit my dudes, but I want to bring down the thunder on this guy, so here we go. Get him, Tau. Blaze level two. Yeah! Oh, man. I love Blaze level two. Oh, Black Fox, you didn't miss anything. I, uh, I have been accosted by bats. That's about it. Get him, Hans. Ooh. Yes! Oh, Hans. Why did I doubt you? That is an awesome double hit by Hans. Alright, Zibby. Main man. We gotta take this bat down. Oh. My gods. Okay. Ken. My guy. Can you hit this bat that is apparently Neo from the Matrix, but a bat? Yes. About time. Luke is asleep. Thank you. We will save Gong here until somebody's really hurt. Again, that's the biggest problem with healers in this game, is that they take so long to level. But that's cool, because aside from low, all the healers are cool, so. Oh, here we go. Gort's legendary defense. Yeah, that's right. Two damage. That's nothing. Gort's got you. Okay, we can stop dogpiling on Gort. <laughs> okay. I really gotta stop talking shit. <laughs> because... 
Gort's gonna Gort's gonna go down. Um, well, we hit this one, didn't we? All right, let's go for him. What? The? There we go. Ten XP for my man Gort. Ooh, I'm gonna tap my mic there. Okay, May's still pretty tough. They did level up this last uh, this last battle, so I'm kind of hoping that uh, that helps us out here. All right, we pause in the game. Actually, Black Fox, I am working on one. I am working on a Discord page. There's one there. It's not great, um, but uh, I'm working on one. All right, Hans is level four. All right, that. That's right, you nocturnal bastard. We gotta, we gotta finish off this bat. All right, redeeming yourself a little bit there, May. Black Fox, I think there is a link uh, for what is started as my uh, Discord page on the Ink Bunny site, I think. Luke is still asleep. Good grief. All right. Gong's had enough of this. He's going to punch a dwarf. One point of damage. That's my guy. <laughs> See? He gets one XP and he increases level to two. Cool thing is his attack goes up a lot. Gort's taking a hammering here. Still doing pretty good. You'd think. Oh, that dwarf just made a tactical error. Here we go. Two dwarf flambes coming up. Yeah, down he goes. And his buddy. Oh, yeah. Why did you get up today, bud? God, I love that. All right, low. I guess we'll heal Luke. He's down one hit point. God, why would I do that? I'll use a hit, uh, medical herb. There you go. <laughs> he got 10 experience. Another nice tactical error they got stacked up there. Get this guy gone. You know, Black Box, I would love it if they had better armor for centaurs. I would also love it if they, uh, if they gave my leader pants. Oh, Gort. Gort, buddy. Hang in there, bud. Oh, <laughs> Gort's gonna, Gort's gonna move. <laughs> Yeah, deadly attack. Uh-oh. Gort's defense just went up four points. I don't think you guys are going to do anything to him. Fight the bad guys. Fight the bad guys. Fight the bad guys. All right, Hans. Hans, my sniper. Just kicking him off. I'm gonna say I give Hans shit, but uh, I will say that that move was pretty quick. Take him down, May. There we go. One less dark fork. Ken, my boy. There we go. We've hit our groove now. I think we're 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 getting it. Even Gort's getting back up. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Gort's going to hang back. 
<laughs> Why does he only have one? Okay, he has one medical herb. There we go. <laughs> he uses the herb. Oh, I thought he would make his attack action. I thought he would attack nothing. Oh, Tau. There we go. Can we get away with a blaze level one? Mmm, iffy. Tell you what. I'm gonna back her off. Because we still got plenty of guys that need to pile up and get roasted. Woo! Luke finally wakes up, my goodness. Alright. Gong, let's see those three attack points. Okay! That was rad. Oh, this guy, he doesn't even know the real threat. Gong. Leveling up was definitely beneficial. It's annoying to have to redo battles like that, but it does help a lot. I got shin guards and boots, but no pants. Zibby's becoming more and more of a juggernaut. Okay, and I'm nowhere near Gordon, so <laughs> I can't heal him. Who can I heal? May's pretty okay. Ken's pretty okay. Zibby's pretty okay. Alright. I guess Lowe's just gonna sit on his hands. Oh, weird. You can't find the link? I will, uh... We're taking a break shortly here, but uh, I will uh, post it in the chat for you. All right. See, when we did this last time, these guys, these guys, they swoop in and do a pincer maneuver. These guys will come on in too. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to focus those bats. Because at least the Rune Knights can't put us to sleep. They can just pound us into oblivion. Centaurs up front. Oh, Gong. Go and heal up. Oh, no, Gort's fine. Oh, that's right. We used that. I'm a silly, silly goose. Okay. Gong's just keeping up. Yeah, it might have expired, Black Fox. I'll uh I'll have to figure that out. I'm not I'm not quite good at doing the Discord yet, so I appreciate any patience that you have. Alright. Just gonna keep this front row here so these guys can just come on down and Take a bite. The ponds in the woods. Looks like Hans is spending a night in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where that joke goes. Leathery winged punks, come on. Descend upon my friends. Come on. We are right here. Oh my god. These bats, man. And the thing is, they don't get any better. This is the first battle with them, but it is not the last, unfortunately. Okay, see, now we're getting close enough that the Rune Knights are coming. Luke is in the forest. That should keep him alive for a little while. Ooh. I'm liking that new axe on Luke. We got Tao here, and she is going to try and clean up any bats that we might run into. Ooh, I wish it was Tao's turn. <laughs> These jokers just did exactly what I wanted them to do. Okay. 
Get him, Gord. That's my guy. Let's see if we can pick off some of these rune knights. They are not uh, terribly difficult to fight, but they are really, really good at beating the crap out of you. Forest there, zippy. All right, let's see how well this forest does. That did not do. Ooh, Luke. See what I mean? Yeah, Luke is taking a bunch of hits. What are your favorite two webcomics? Well, I mean, obviously, I know which, which one of them is. But what's your other favorite webcomic? damage feels like buddy bet you wish he didn't wake up today I don't think Gort or uh, Gong is going to be able to take this side guy right? I don't need a healer on the front line so. oh no yes we're susceptible to the, uh, the thunderstorms taking out our uh, Taking out our internet as well. Oh, that's right. I gotta get Luke out of there. outage here I think it was a year ago might have been two years ago uh, and uh, we lost all of our power it was in the winter it was just miserable and we were lucky I think our power was out for maybe like two hours but it was enough to need a blanket may you are really gunning for the office position here. Oh, and loads of sleep. All right, bad. Ooh, I gotta keep me or keep Tao from being waxed by this room knight. No pants. There we go. Power of no pants. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> Oh, I'm one MP shy. That's alright. There'll be plenty of opportunities to cast Blaze level 2. On a lot of dudes. Always good to have a backup generator black box. Absolutely. Go on, come on, man. Doing. We got Gord over here. I'll say one nice thing with Gord is that he's not falling asleep once he gets hit by those guys. May hasn't either, but she's also not hitting. getting up there. And any of you hurt? You are. kind of want to take out this guy. There we go. Alright. 
Hans usually is clean up at some point or another. Now Luke's healed up. He's charging right back into the fray. Small axe. Yeah, right in the knee. Big old knobby horse knee. Oh no. Oh, she may be dead. Ooh. Yeah, now she. Oh, oh wow. Going for Zibby instead of. Oh. See what I mean, though? These guys hit. They hit hard. Yeah, okay, there we go. I knew there was a plan in place. Alright, well. Tao, I'm sorry, but you were out of magic anyway. Lo is still asleep. Glad to see he slept through the murder of his friend. Okay. Gort manages to take down a, a bat that may hand. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Here, or two. How about you? You're at four. You're at fourteen. Y'all just went. Hmm. Half health. I think it's safer to go after this bat. There we go. Ooh, ten. Damn, totally. Right. That was, uh... Dare I say it? That was impressive. Ooh, we're gonna take this guy down. Get smoked. There we go. Alright, May. He's a horse guy. You're a horse lady. Maybe you can hit him. I would appreciate it if you hit somebody. Hey, look at that. I had faith in you the whole time. Alright, Luke, clean up. Clean up. Pile this guy. I'm liking this damage I'm seeing. Guys are cutting down rune knights pretty quickly. Yeah, five damage on Luke is like ten damage on everyone else. Oh man. Yeah. Not gonna say I didn't see that coming, but oof. That's uh that's an owie for sure. But you know who's coming in here who's gonna clean things up? It's our man Gong. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Give me two damage. Give me two damage. Let's read it. Wow, that's more than I asked for. Thank you, sir. That is my guy gone. I will say this one had a lot less casualties than the first attempt. I'm surprised we lost the maze. That's a... Oof. That's a surprise for me. All right, Luke. I don't think you can do 11 damage, but you can try. Six is good. Six is good. All right, gone. Can you give me five? <laughs> I don't think you can. Whoa! <laughs> gone. You are rocking it, man. Oh, uh, you're probably dead. Yep. <laughs> You know what? It was worth it. It was worth it for the glory. Gong knew what he signed up for. When we found him chopping wood at a house and just enlisted him. There we go. Alright. Army is defeated. Kate will have to do better than that to stop you. Oh, he will. On to Altaro. Yeah, it's funny. Um, if you, uh... If you don't do the uh, the original mission, the first mission, the gate, um, and you just walk up here and go to Alteron, the whole place is just walled off. Like, they're just like, you can't come in here. It's like, the programmers were like, they're gonna try to go into the Alteron. Jaunty Tantoon, hello, man. Welcome to Alteron, stranger. Alright. Ah, yes. Black box, I think that's my first emote. Well done. Can't even see it properly, but it is shaky and I like that. Busting into your house. Hello, old lady. 
I hear there's an underground passage in the castle. Shh, let's keep it a secret. Oh, Grandma. It's a flat, flat world. The king and us and many more books. Oh, you're one of those. Okay. Uh, ooh. That's a lot of treasure. All right. No, oh. Ooh, a bronze lamp. I'm going to give that to my boy Ken. 70 coins. That's all. Robbing this lady blind. Taking all her crap. Look, man. That woman over there gives me the creeps. They say she's a witch. Well, she clearly has some fashion sense, unlike the rest of you. Greetings, Vivi. With my powers, I can see the future. Care to know your fate? Oh. What shape would you say her head is? Death lies to the north. Go back to Guardiana. Your doom awaits if you continue. Well, that was not very cheery. Awful corned beef. That's a, uh, that's a bad time. Especially because awful corned beef usually is awful corned beef later as well. Hello, lady. Ancient darkness, moon fox. Sorry, those things don't concern us. Oh, they do, madam, I assure you. A fisherman. I love to fish. Hey, a bite! I feel a bite! Don't just stand there, help me pull. Wow, it must be a whale. Pull again! One more time! I caught it! Trap. More gold coins? Shucks, I thought I had a fish. Just toss them back. No. Oh my god, I just want to hit you so hard. Oh. Can I just enlist you to kill you? Oh. Hello, old man. Can't you read the sign? Don't make me glare at you. What? <laughs> Private property. Trespassers will be glared at. Well. You know what? Truth in advertising. I can appreciate that, old man. Well done. Item shop. Oh, well, but come on in and browse. Nothing but the best here. More of the same, okay. Actually, we used up some of our medical herbs, so we'll go ahead and buy a couple more. Was it Luke? Or was it, uh, Lo? Yes, Lo used one of his. Oh, Luke did. I think Gort did as well. There we go. Just loading back up. Get back into fighting shape. Alright. Alright. And we did get that bronze mace. And I want to give that to my good pal Ken. That reminds me. Actually, I think one of the nice things about Shining Force is that you could go back to an extent. I would really like to get May a spear. Alright, back to Sad Town. Alright. There. That spear, give that to May. Fellows, back to my mission. See, I followed the road this time like a good person. Sorry, I was just kind of going through some things there. Hello, lady. Can't find a thing I want to buy. Well, oh, don't tell me you're the weapons guy. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to get one from my hometown, man. I gotta support small businesses. And this chest is just out here, man. So. Fifty gold coins. All right. You must be Zippy, right? Yeah. You know what? I lived in Guardiana until a few months ago. I just heard a rumor. 
friend of mine told me that Guardiana was mad, was totally wiped out. Is that true? No, it's still there. Good, but my friend has already left the reform cast. The baby. I hate this place. All they have is cheap stuff. I can't stand. Well, you know what? You sound like a fun date. There's a war going on, lady. This place is pretty busy today. It is. Look at that. The man. Can I read your books? Oh, I want to read your bar books. I want to read your books. I want you to read your books. I want to know your secrets. The healing seed. That is the incredibly expensive uh, bushel of grapes. Potter with a pitchfork and a diamond rock. Not sure where that's coming from. Hello, old man. No one worries about anything nowadays. It seems pretty odd to me. Like we left. All right, so there's a castle here. So let's check out the castle. There's that witch again. Ooh, we want to find out if there's a uh, church so we can get our guys back. We lost some people. Protect it, that dang church. Where's the church? Yeah, there's some more treasure. Medical earth. All right. Hello, lady. There's been lots of strangers visiting the castle lately. A regular parade. These guys are just not picking up. Money makes the world go round. Go sure, don't you ever forget it. Gold coins of the world, 101 places to hide money, and many more books. You sound like fun. Let me into your basement. I am the main character. Yes. More treasure. Healing seed. I can't carry it. Ooh, a middle sword. I need that. That is uh, that is an upgrade for Zibby. So we're gonna start giving some of these items out here. Grapes. You know what? Bert, you're on the front lines a lot. We're gonna give you some grapes. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Middle sword. Ah, just throwing characters out of your mind and into the world. I can appreciate that. Oh, I have a middle sword. What am I doing? I seem to remember Luke was able to use it. Let's see. No, not give him. Equip. Silly. Oh, it's slightly better than the end. Sword it is. All right. Good deal. A healing seed. Always nice to have some magic healing grapes around. Okay. Uh, I still have not run into a priest, so this is this is a little concerning. King has given us permission to enter. Oh, you're a very detailed sprite. Chris, where are you? Have you seen her? Who's Chris? Well, don't just stand there. Help me look for her. Oh, oh, oh. Madam, I am not the help. I am the guest. Are there otter people in trap finders? Yes, there are otter people in trap finders. Do you know the king's secret? No. Oh, you don't? Hee <laughs> hee. It may be nothing. Please begin. Please. Yeah, that arrow's not going to do anything for us because Hans already has a wooden arrow. Watching water relaxes me. What? Guard the castle? <laughs> jaunty cape and snappy headband will set things right. Oh, you have a detailed strike. Oh, very careful when you meet the king, that's all I dare say. Oh, 
look like you're like a deer. That's adorable. Join me. You're clearly an animal person. Ah, um, sit down, take it easy. We do it all day. I met people like you. You should toss this armor. It's too itchy. These guys suck. Sleep, eat, and play game. The life for me. Wow. Great security, guys. No spitting, no fighting, no throwing food. I can agree to all those things. Another treasure chest. Lots of grapes. Lots of grapes in this here castle. Uh, I don't want to quit. I want to... Let's send this over to Court. Maybe Court can use it. I wonder. He can, and it's marginally better than the axe, so we'll do it. Oh, Corvus? Uh, Corvus comes and goes as he pleases. There we go. That's an interesting little motif here. Nothing's unusual. It's just a demon head on the wall. Centaurs here. Was a believer in helping those in need. Well, clearly, because I've been taking all of your crap. Oh, hello. What else do we have here? 100 gold coins. Awesome. <laughs> Another metal sword. Bread of life. Interesting. Here's what we're going to do let's run a bivy across this. Over to Ken, and then we'll toss this over to. You know what? Luke's always in the front. We'll give him one. The dense potion. Oh, yeah, I'm absolutely robbing the stink of blind. Are you kidding? It's the kobold way. We gotta scrabble and get some fries, man. These adventurers have it easy. Who are you? Oh, those were rune knights. Uh-oh. So, I, I'm feeling less and less bad about robbing these people. Oh, advisor man. I've heard all about you. Talk to our king. You must attack Guardiana. Hard to believe. Follow me, Zimmy. I have a tactician we should consult with. Alright, cool. Get some professional help. I don't think I didn't notice this over here. Wooden staff, garbage. I don't need that stuff. Alright. None of this is good. All of these things are bad. I have nothing to say to you, Zippy of Guardiana. Oh, well. You guys were original. That's Kane! Surprise, did he? Altharone has already surrendered, but it would really sell one. I'll decide how best to dispose of him in a day or two. Oh, you bastard. Cain, you promised Altharone would not be involved in any of this. Quiet, fool, or I'll throw you in the cell with him. Take him away. Oh, you are the douchiest douche. I'm gonna wreck that guy later. Oh, punks. At least I can talk to the priest now. I came to tell the king to fight, but Cain had already convinced him to surrender. Even though I'm in prison, I can still perform my duties. How could I help? Oh, thank goodness. Get May back up here. Bring May back to life, yes, please. Ow. Oh, wrong button. Plot slip. Let's make sure we get Tao back. There we go. I see 
your friend died. It'll take forty dollars to bring her back. Oh well, you know, I'll take that. We're gonna save here actually because I have not saved in a long time. There we go. Save much better. Bars are solid. There's no way to break them. Footsteps are bad. Oh my god, it's the adorable little guy. Lady thing. Time has come to strike back at Ruth. I'm letting you out. Oh my god, thank you. Please help me save Alteron. I'll fight alongside you. I can heal too. Aww. You're welcome to fight with us, Chris. Look at you. You're adorable with your hat. Can't go this way. They'll spot us for sure. There's a secret passage. Use it to escape. I'll be ahead for you. Just be patient a little longer. I'll get you out of here soon. I'm out, Priesto. Yeah, I know. That's three dedicated healers we have now. All of them liabilities. <laughs> Army nicely. What do you have to say, Chris? I can fight and heal wounds. Lead on, I will follow. See, now that's the attitude that I like. And then, conversely, the other healer, Low. I'm most useful as a healer, but I'll get in a good few whacks when I have to. I can heal wounds, but please not try not to get injured. I mean, she's sitting here like, I'm gonna smack stuff and heal you, and he's just like, oh, please don't make me do my job. Blech. Yeah, we'll have another space for another two folks. That's gonna be cool. Eventually we'll have a bunch of people we can pick from. Oh, geez, a battle. Lonely words. I shall crush you beneath my heel. Attack, soldiers of Runefaust! Lord Kane, Lord Dark Soul commands you to return to Runefaust immediately. Tell him I'm on my way. Yes, sir. A shame I can't stay to watch you meet your doom. Troops can handle the likes of you. Oh, can they? Oh, crap, they have archers and bats. Oh, crispy crackers, that's not good. Another battle. In a town this time. 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 Actually, let's see what we're working with here. Straight ahead, we got nothing. Got that building that we can fight around. Bats. And then we got the mainline guys here. We got some rune knights. We got some archers. Snipers. Ooh. I don't like that. That sounds less than good for us. They have an attack of 15. Oh, these guys are tough. Yeah, they're just as tough as the rune knights, but they can attack at range. They have a mage. Oh, no. Oh, he has a shield ring. I want that. Yes, betrayed by the king of Alteron. His cowardice has led to our defeat. Not so. We're the Shining Force. We shine in the darkest of realms. Knights thundering across the bridge, trying to intimidate us, but no. Zibi and his faithful band of companions will fight to save Alteron and all of Rude. Just as soon as we get up there. That's a good point. What's to our right? What do we got here? Should we split forces? We just have these dwarves and some bats. Interesting. It's probably best to leave them there. Splitting us up now would be a bad idea, so we'll keep going up straight. One of the nice things, too, about uh, Shining Force is that uh, when your characters have multiple weapons, like the Centaurs, uh, it's not an action to change out their equipment. So if they can't reach something, I can switch them out to their spear right away. Come on, man. No. Well, I'll keep 
keeps hitting the wrong button today. There's Chris. Actually, let's see a little bit more about Chris. Healer, attack of 10. Not bad for a healer. She has very little defense. Ooh. Yeah, hopefully we can level her up. What I want to do is I want to form like a battle line, obviously, to stop those bats. Like, attract them, but keep them from coming up any further. That should draw them in. Once they see that sweet, sweet zip flesh. Yeah, come on. That's the other thing with those archers, is because they have the same range as the uh, Hans. You're gonna have to be real careful to stay away from them or stay really close. Healers are definitely gonna have to hide from them. So those guys are no joke. Oh, have a good night, Corvus. Thanks again for, for staying with us and hope to see you next time. Have a good night. see if May is any better with her spear. Nope. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that the pages aren't very good on mobile. It's something else that I've needed to work on. Double attack from the bat. At least she's not asleep. Alright, Ken. Save your girlfriend. Hiya! Ooh, okay. Yep, yeah, I'll take that. Thank you, Ken. Ah, these freaking bats, man. If I can get Tao up here, she'll start wrecking. Seems like May has a much higher defense than Ken does, or at least a noticeably higher defense. Oh, man, if only I could just get Tao up there. I mean, next turn she'll be up there, but they won't be in such a, a prime position. I didn't change the hosting on the Trap Finder site. Um, it did meddle around with the layout a little bit. Um, so that might be the problem there. Once again, most of my problems are caused by myself. Oh man, come on, Hans. You were cleaning up last time. We'll keep Zippy back for now. I might try to revert the site back to its original format because it just seems to be more problematic and it doesn't display as well as I'd like it to. I was trying something different, but clearly did not work out. Okay, let's kill this bat. Come on, Ken, take him down. There we go. Should have healed me. I really should have healed me. Or at least can. Ooh. Rare miss. Oh. It won't last long. Oof. Oh no. That's not good. That is not good. I'll bring Luke over here. Luke, why don't you have a weapon? Luke, honey, we talked about this. Alright. Enough of this running crap. 
can at least get two bats. Light them up. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. Yeah, level five. Yeah, with this battle, this is the biggest problem, is that everything kind of, like, clumps up together in the middle. But it's like, do you want to be fighting Dark Dwarves and Bats, or do you want to be fighting Rune Knights and Bats? Those are your choices. Oh, no. Hope your internet stays around there, Black Fox. See, Hans, this is what happens when you miss. Now you're asleep. Okay. Oh, if only Luke had had his weapon equipped, that would have been nice. Oh, here we go again. Oh. Two dead bats. There we go. That's what we love Tau for. Do either of you have any damage on you? Just wail on this guy. Get him going. For a healer, that is not... Oh, thank goodness. You have a level up. might be dead. <laughs> oh. Okay, Luke. I didn't give him this... Mm. That is the kind of day we are having. Yeah, those storms move quick, don't they? because I love this song. He was only asleep for one turn, so that's good. All right, Ken. Let's smoke this guy. Get wrecked. There we go. All right. Leveling up like gangbusters. It's probably a good thing because we are going to need it. Somebody was super hurt. Oh, <laughs> and it was me. It's going to be me. Low with a rare assist. Oh, I'm so glad that you're level two. Board on cleanup. Oh man, this is helpful. This is actually very helpful because those snipers are no joke. Who's hurt? Oops. Now just leveled up. She's not really hurt. Luke, how are you doing? You're okay. Gong. Yeah, Gong was hurt. Let's heal him. Oh, look at your little sprite. You're adorable. You look like a Renfest character. Healers helping healers. Triple H. I could run all the way up there and attack them, but I'm not going to, because I don't want to die. Same 
Z's for Gort. That's what centaurs are for. Spear to face. Okay, Maze, you're also leveling up. That's good. Alright. Oh, I can't quite get up there. I really want to get up there and smoke those guys, but I just don't think I can. Really wish I'd had that middle sword on him. Forgot that Luke and Gort can take uh, swords to an extent. After a while, they just get axes, and the axes are good. Let's join the Grand Melee. Power of no pants. Oh. Whoa. Oh, man. Zibby! Coming through in the clutch. May might be cleaning up this rune night. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, Ken, you are not in any shape to do that. I will have you use the medical order. There we go. Just in case one of those guys just it's super antsy and decides to go visit us. Oop. I know this is a mistake, but I really want to hit them with this. Oh, it's so useful. Just keep going there in case she survives. Oof. Solid hit, but the other ones can't hurt her from there, so that's good. Just to make sure she survives. The newly minted level 2 low. Yeah, that mage can't be crap. I forgot to check what level Chris is. What level are you, little gear person? Level two, okay. You're keeping up with us. I want to take down that mage if I can. Ugh, okay, come on. Tell me Tau is coming. That one was smart. Oh, there we go. Cleaning them up. <laughs> Not enough MP. So sad. At the very least, let's take out this sniper. I get hit with deja vu in the weirdest times. Boys. Boys and girls. Alright, May, if you can't kill this one, I'm gonna just take you out of the army. Alright, there we go. She's the equivalent, the Shining Force equivalent of a Stormtrooper. Only Stormtroopers are so fun. Yeah, the worst part is that they kind of wait for you, so you kind of have to form up a battle line just to kind of keep them boxed in. Come on up, guys. Jo 
Monkey beards can't be for nothing. Ooh. Actually. This works well, too. Yeah, there we go. That actually works out really well that she's there. Go that. Now has got one level one blaze left in her, and that's about it. Fortunately, that's about all we need. Bert's going for it. Ooh. That's what I'd like to see. Might need to patch up Gort shortly. <laughs> all three healers are on standby. <laughs> Some of these early battles, they do not take advantage of their positioning much. Oh, that is fortunate. I'm glad you caught that chocolate bar, because, ooh wee. Chocolate bar on the wash? Not a good time. Lord help you if you were just trying to put that in the wash or in the uh, the dryer. Let's see how wrecked Ken gets. Not too wrecked. Not too wrecked at all. Oh, now you made it mad. Ooh. Gork is really pulling it out. I could use new jackets to be black folks. Get rid of that snake. Too much of a liability. Oh, yeah, it'd be terrible if it was in the dryer. Can you imagine? Ugh. It would almost be like you put something plastic in the dryer. But everything would just be coated. The inside of the dryer would be coated. Ugh. Ugh. I'd just throw away the dryer. <laughs> you know, at that point, I mean, it's... Unless you want all of your clothes to smell like chocolate, I think so. All right. I'm sure there are more efficient ways of making your clothes smell like chocolate. Gong, you can heal somebody, can't you? Yes, you can heal Ken. There we go. Yeah, the laundry never ends. And with this, I think we have game. Yes. On they go. Zippy, there's no time to lose. Kane must be found and stopped at all costs. Find out all you can. Be sure to talk to the king of Ultra. Everything is fine. Everyone is just fine now. Never will live to remember that belt gone. Everybody's doing fine right now. Okay. They splashed mud on her dress. What a bunch of jerks. <laughs> Dress is ripped too. Oh, you know something? I actually, mm, I goofed it. I goofed it. It was big cobalt brain moment. Uh, if I remember correctly, what I'm supposed to do is uh, hit her with that cart initially before the battle, and then um, 
she throws me in the water and gets me to that little island where the treasure chest is. So that's unfortunate. Hey, the priest is back. Oh well, nice little land. Oh, he must have been the, the stand-in. The books are written in a language unknown to me. Medical herb. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think I lost anybody, did I? Let's see. Yep, everyone's okay. Awesome. Alright, let's talk to the king. Let's wrap this up. Let's talk to the king and get on out of Alteron. Chris is going with you. I'll hold you responsible if she gets hurt. Oh, she does care. That's sweet. I like that. Well, well, well. If it isn't a living king. Maybe I wasn't myself. King did some power over me. Can you forget me? It was the power that you're a b -b 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 bitch. Yes. Thank you. I want to help you. Search the dragon head to reveal. You see, this is why... This is why I'm sitting here going, this is ridiculous. There's a chain inside the head. Do you wish to pull it? Yes. Zibby pulls the chain. Ooh. Secret, secret. There's always something behind a waterfall. The legacy of the ancients. The door. The key. What can it all mean? No matter what the cost. The mystery must be solved, and Brunfaust's plan is foiled. End of chapter one. That's another underappreciated tune. Oh my gosh. That is the end of chapter one. We are absolutely going to record our exploits thus far, but I believe it is also time for this little cobalt to go curl up in his sock drawer. So, thank you so much, Black Fox. Thank you so much for being here. Corvus, I know you're gone, but thank you for being here. I want to thank Drapsnat, um, Lisa Bay, Kata, Lori Pub, uh, Alicidra, and I have to look now. Zero One Ella. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for being with us. Uh, this is this is a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun with this. Um, I hope you do too. Uh, I try to kind of have a pretty laid back stream, and um, I'm kind of hoping that that this is just a nice place for people to hang out, talk, and just have a good time. Um, but uh, in any case, thank you again so much for being with us, and uh, have a wonderful evening. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.